you know, venomous snakes, just how large can they get? We're gonna talk about some of this here in a minute. Fangs in your face. Subscribe now. Hey, before we get started, I want to send a big thank you to all of our generous supporters. Hey, Dan McCarty, thank you, bro. Austin Smith, right on, brother. Hey, Paul Breslin, thank you so much, Paul. Chris Richards, hey, ain't heard from you in a minute. Chris, how you doing, brother? Um, hey, James Chase, thank you so much, James. Paul Gretsch, thank you so much. From me and Diesel. <laughs> and, of course, Andrew Veslowski. Thank you so much, Andrew. And thank you to everybody who supports us here at Venom Central. Hey, any of y'all want to get Venom Central merch? There is a 10% off coupon, and it's good through Monday, I believe, August 2nd. And if you use the, uh, the code, the coupon code is called Back to School. So you get 10% off any of, our, any of our merch. And go to venomcentral.org and check out our merch page. We got some pretty neat shirts on there. Hey guys, we have been running wild trying to find our property so we can get our facility open. But um, we just haven't had time to do videos. <laughs> I mean, we're, 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 we're running at both ends. But anyways, we wanted to pump one out for you guys. And this is going to be a fun one, but we're going to have some education in it too. But uh, we're going to talk about just, just how large some venomous snakes can actually get. And we're going to show you some fine examples of some large specimens. But um, hey, um, hang in there. We're going to have some fun. And I just want to apologize, everybody. We haven't even had time to get to comment sections. We, we, we really are busy, but, and it's hot. Man, man, it's hot here. Let me tell you something, it's hotter than snot here. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, we have to film in the middle of the night because it's too damn hot in the snake rooms and we're running air conditioners and you can't hear me talking over the air conditioners running and stuff. So we got to film at night when it's cool and we can turn the air conditioners off. So hang in there guys, we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna bust out a bunch of big ones today. Okay, and this is what we call a batwing rattlesnake, okay? Now this is this is a hybrid, and we think that this specimen is exhibiting something called hybrid vigor. And now, size with snakes comes with age, you know, and, and of course, you know, how much intake, how much they're feeding, how much they're eating. But this this little rascal here, now he's a big boy, he's, he's over six foot. Actually, that is a snout to vent length. So with the remainder of his tail and his rattle he's probably tipping at seven but he's tipping the scales at 18 pounds now this is a big big rattlesnake i'm just gonna set him down real gently here and let me tell you um this is this is a hybrid rattlesnake between an eastern diamondback which is the largest rattlesnake in the world and a timber rattlesnake or the canebrake rattlesnake now this big boy he was he was born accidentally at a zoo and we have this one along with his sibling, his brother. And his brother is not quite as big as this guy, but we think this one is exhibiting hybrid vigor. And now let me tell you something interesting now. You know, we don't believe in the hybrid thing and, and, and playing Frankenstein, but, but what's interesting is this specimen of rattlesnake, what we call the bat wings, they are a naturally occurring hybrid. That means it happens in nature. There has been several specimens found in Jasper County, South Carolina alone, of that, of a bat wing rattlesnake. I mean, reaching these kind of proportions, we don't know, but there's been a few big ones found, but this one is a true monster. I mean, tipping the scales at 18 pounds and over six foot long, that's a big son of a bitch. <laughs> But we're going to talk a little bit about just how snakes can reach these massive proportions. Okay, and the next snake that can reach massive proportions is your gaboon viper. This is your bitus rhinoceros. And now there's there's a group of these snakes. Now we call them the African vipers, and they're all your large bitus family. And now this is not a real big one. This is still a juvenile. 
This snake's only a couple years old, but look at the size of him already. I mean, he's as wide as your hand. Look at the head on that rascal, right? And this snake also has the longest fangs in the world. But let me tell you something now. For this animal, this is not even a big one, okay? They get a lot bigger. I have had some monsters. My breeders, were, I mean, they're six foot, you know, this big around. I mean, talk about sizable and weight. This snake can get heavy bodied and long at the same time. This snake can actually get to be six foot. But just another large African viper, a snake that can reach massive proportions and definitely deadly, highly cytotoxic venom. This snake can deliver a kill bite, but it's a very placid snake. As you can see, he's gentle, he's calm. I mean, he's just content to just hang out, but I'm not gonna let him dangle. I'm gonna set him down here real gently and just control him like this. But let me tell you something now, growth in snakes, you know, snakes actually never stop growing. I mean, they grow for the entirety of their lives. And what a lot of people don't realize is, snakes that get big, it comes with age. And of course, intake, how much they're feeding, how regular they're feeding. But in captivity, snakes should not be overfed. Snakes that are overfed become obese. It's a strain on their liver. It's a strain on their kidneys. And then it becomes a health issue. So they should be fed sparingly, but the appropriate size meals. But let me tell you something. Kaboons, they are just one of them animals that gets massive. They get big, big buffy heads and big thick heavy bodies. But it's one of them snakes that can get really big that a lot of people don't realize just how big a kaboom can get. I mean, we've got some pictures of some of our breeders. Maybe Dina can pop some in there. You can put some in there, right, baby? Yes. I mean, I mean, they're, you know, they're this big around. They're six foot long, you know. And a lot of people don't realize a kaboom actually gets that big. They get massive. You know, with venomous snakes, of course, we all know the king cobra is the largest venomous snake in the world. I mean, reaching up to 18 foot. You know, and then we got your black mamba. You know, there's been 14 foot specimens recorded. And then, of course, we got your bushmasters. And I'll tell you, bushmasters, <laughs> which if y'all know me, the venom squad knows me, that's our snake, all right? We love our bushmasters, and we actually breed a lot of bushmaster species right here in captivity. But let me tell you something. Bushmasters get big. I mean, we've got some blackheads that are monsters. I mean, we got a true eight footer and he's 20 pounds. I mean, pop a picture in there, D. <laughs> I mean, he's a beast and he's not overweight. He's just massive, okay? We've got Lachesis stenopheres, the, 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 the actual Central American Bushmaster that is monsters. We got some big ones. So, they can reach large sizes, you know, and everybody thinks large snakes, they think right away anaconda, python, boa constrictor, you know. There are some venomous snakes that get quite sizable, but we're gonna put this, this little rascal back. And when I say little, this one's only about five foot. Well, he's maybe four and a half. I haven't even gotten a, a true measurement on him, but he's a good sized boy and he'll get a lot bigger. So we're gonna put this guy back and move on to the next animal. Okay, and for our next snake, now I got my little platform here, so I'm gonna drop this little gem. Now this is your lancehead viper, or your fur to lance. Now what a lot of people don't realize is, this little guy here, this is, this is a captive born baby that we produce here at Venom Central, and we breed these for the, for the Venom Labs. But let me tell you, this little guy here can reach massive proportions. Fertilance actually can get, you know, eight foot with no problem. The Bothrops Asper, I mean, I've seen some big ones. We, we've had some big ones in the past. Let me tell you, uh, a colleague of mine, Dean Reba, he had one that was pushing nine foot. It was a monster. But um, this snake can get really big, okay? And this little baby here, this will eventually turn into this, into that, <laughs> okay? Now, that is a very mature fur to lance. Now, this happens to be the Bothrop Play of Chorus, and I'm going to set her down real gentle. This is a very big one, and this is a very dangerous snake, okay? But that little baby will be like this in several years, okay? With, with proper care, proper maintenance, proper feeding, that's what they turn into. And they get a lot bigger, okay? 
So, and this, this is a big one, but they can get a lot bigger than this. This one's only a six footer, but they reach massive proportions. And a lot of people don't realize just how big a Ferdelance can get. But there is a fine example for you. We're gonna slide her back in her exhibit. We don't monkey with this girl too much and let her go back to sleep. <laughs> Okay, and for our next snake, now, of course, this is a little baby. This is a baby that we produced last year, and this is your Mexican West Coast rattlesnake, and he's going to be a little ornery stinker, but this little guy here, now, at birth, he was about 16 inches, which is pretty big for a baby rattlesnake, and he is just now reaching a year old, and you can see how big he is already, but the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake can reach immense proportions. And for our next animal, of course, is the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. And this is a big one, okay? And this is probably the heaviest rattlesnake we have in house. This guy's tipping the scale right now at 21 pounds. We just weighed him this morning. And Maximus is a beast, okay? <laughs> and he's hard to hold up here. I gotta kind of put a little gangster lean back here to hold him up. Let's just set him down a little bit right there. We're gonna let him kind of just gently sit on the floor for a second while I get a grip on him. He's not easy to handle, his girth alone, but you know, with the Eastern Diamondback being, you know, the recorded biggest rattlesnake in the world, you know, I believe next to line is the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake, the Crowless Basiliscus. They definitely probably hold the record for weight. I mean, he is a beast, but let me tell you, these things, even when they're born, they're monsters. I mean, maybe Dina can put some of the some of the video or the pictures of some of the babies. Some of Maximus's babies from last year. But that is another animal that reaches immense proportions for a venomous snake. Crazy, right? All right, big boy. There you go. Let's just set you down there. <laughs> there we go. And now... Maximus, he's he's definitely an ambassador for his species. And he's kind of our he's kind of our mascot here in the central. <laughs> he's just a big old boy. And he's actually a gentle boy. Now his counterpart, his his girlfriend, the female, she's a different animal altogether. She's a mean little witch. <laughs> but uh but Maximus, he's a big gentle boy. But we still don't take them liberties with him. We, we, we would never pick him up, free handle him, or do anything silly like that. Because a bite from a big snake like this would definitely be a death sentence. I mean, it's nothing to fool with. That is a big rattlesnake and will put out a big yield. So, there's Maximus in all his glory. And just to show you just how big some venomous snakes can get. Venomous snakes can reach massive proportions. Certain species, can get bigger than others, but just a few that you need to realize that they get big also. It's not just your king cobra, your black mamba, and your bushmasters. There's rattlesnakes that get massive, there's fertilance that get massive, there's baboons, there's puff adders. There are a lot of venomous snakes that reach massive proportions. Just to show you a few examples of other snakes than king cobras and mambas and bushmasters that can reach massive proportions. And let me tell you, my secret to growing snakes big is just proper husbandry. Don't overfeed them. Don't overthink it. Feed them right. Keep them clean. Keep them happy. Keep them healthy. Okay? But anyways, hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that B-Logo thing and subscribe now and come on back and check us out at Venom Central. This is Willie. We're checking out. Later.